everyone hope you're doing well welcome back to the channel the ninth cup where i use astrology and tarot to give you some insight on where you are at this moment in your human experience so my name is karen michelle yearwood i am an intuitive guidance counselor for those of you who are new welcome thank you so much for sharing your energy with me and joining the channel for those of you that are subscribed i appreciate you so much thank you for sharing your energy with me welcome back so this reading is going to be for the Chiron and Leo. If your Chiron is in the sign of Leo, this reading is for you. It is not house specific, just sign. So take what resonates and leave the rest. The Chiron is known as the wounded healer. According to Western astrology, that's what I study. I read charts according to whole signs. So consider where the whole, uh, this house of the whole sign where your Chiron is placed in your natal chart. It's the wounded healer. It is where we are wounded, where we have the most, um, challenges this deep-seated pain or um, a sense of just struggle maybe and it, you know it could resonate in different ways depending on what's happening in your own chart but it's also medicinal it's where our strengths are and helping others to heal and teach and help them overcome maybe similar circumstances that we have dealt with all right so let's go on and get your overall energies we have spiritual strength leo i like this for you spiritual strength you just are um, having uh, i think today is the 12th so venus is you know out of your sign venus had a really long stay there and so depending on what area of your chart your chiron is in i think venus really you know brought some kisses to your wounds maybe brought some opportunities for you and so that is maybe resulting in some spiritual strength some resilience some stamina oh we have temptation this is like the devil energy here Capricorn energy, Capricorn ruled by Saturn. So some restrictions, you know, but I think through that you have began, you have become more strong. You have become more, like I said, resilient. You have more stamina. You're more determined. Um, you have discipline. I'm getting the energy of discipline. Victory and success is at the bottom of the deck. So this could be what's coming in in the near future or what you are aiming to achieve in some way. You really are trying to persevere in some way. Um, you know, your Chiron, the wound in Leo is feeling like you don't deserve the spotlight or maybe that, um, you know, people don't really see you for who you are. So the, the high vibration or the light side of Leo is, it's just that it's light, right? Because it's ruled by the sun and it's the ruler of the fifth house. So it's that beautiful creativity and romance and lightheartedness and connection and, just really being vibrant. You know, Venus is at home in the fifth house. It's her joy. So think of those Venusian things as well. But I think with the wounding, it could be around the worthiness, right? The sense of like, what do you really bring to the table? And do you think people really are interested in seeing what you have to offer? That can be how the, the wounds show up or manifest. Again, depends on your own natal chart, what house it's in, what it's aspecting, and of course, obviously, whatever is happening through transit. So there is this, you know, what I'm giving is just some general, um, very general and basic um, insight into this placement. So I'm a Leo moon, so I definitely can resonate with that, you know. Moon, moon energy can be about wounds as well sometimes. All right, so let's get your overall, not your overall, excuse me, let's get your tarot. Your overall energy is a spiritual strength, temptation, and victory and success. So again, really just pushing through, you know, stepping into your power, um, finding the wisdom, you know, you know, seeds and nuggets of wisdom in your experiences. This is what I'm getting for you. Um, all right. What's in your past energy, Leo? Let's look for your past. The Emperor. I like that. This was at the bottom of the deck for uh, Cancer. So in the past energy, again, maybe dealing with the father figure. This could be someone else's energy too. Um, I kind of channeled that a little bit with the temptation since it's Capricorn and that's Saturnian and Saturnian is age. So it could be like older male figures in your life. And now we have the Emperor, which is known as like the, um, the father of the Zodiac or of the, the Tarot. Or if not, this is just your energy, right? Past being in emperor energy, having a leadership position, maybe being in a position where there's a lot of, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? There's a lot of critique. There's a lot of um, criticism. Three of wands in the uh, 
present moment. So looking to see how you can move on. You could be looking to see how you're going to move out for, uh, from a situation and how you can be victorious in doing so. All right. So I'm not taking the, not, um, not tapping out, not giving up, but how to transition, you know, with your pride intact. Four of Wands in the future. I like it. Three of Wands, the Four of Wands is a pro progression. A natural progression. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups. Yeah, wanting to protect your heart. This was in the uh, Cancer reading as well. Queen of Cups. But they had it in their future position. So, Emperor, Three of Wands, Four of Wands. Past, present, future. Again, I think this is more around how you have maybe had to come up against some, like, a, why am I blanking on my words today? So not challenges, but um, like people that are uh, like uh, opposing you, like you had to kind of maybe stand up against like naysayers or people who are challenging your beliefs or questioning your leadership, your capabilities. I'm getting an energy here of you having to prove yourself. These aren't the meaning of the cards, but I'm just getting that. You know, again, I'm, I'm asking spirit to channel, help me channel messages for you for your Chiron and Leo. And so we're thinking about it in terms of what that means, but also the current transit. So it's October 12th that I'm recording this, where you have, or coming out of that long transit of Venus in Leo. And Venus did quite a bit when she was in Leo, you know, as far as squaring um, Jupiter, Uranus. Um, did she oppose Pluto? I think she came close to it. But um, back when Pluto was like closer to Aquarius. But anyway, this emperor energy in the past, again, it's just telling me is like you, you've had to like either deal with someone who was in the emperor energy. This is a father figure, um, a, a masculine energy who has some level of authority or it's yourself. So apply it to how it resonates. And now presently, it's like you've already made some kind of choice and you're just waiting to get the green light to go forward in some way. In the future, whatever that uh, <laughs> it is whatever that choice is it's going to lead to more stability it's going to lead to feeling like okay you're more secure you're more at home um maybe even some celebrations you have victory and success at the bottom of the oracles deck so it's just that you're coming out of maybe a little bit of a um like challenging and um de like debating period of time you know so and this is maybe where you gain strength the spiritual strength to maybe not entertain people that are probing, that are kind of like, you know, tempting you in some way, temptation is here, kind of welcoming you or inviting you into gossip or arguing and things like that, that could have been going on in some way, shape or form. Even though you had Venus kissing your um, Chiron at some point, sometimes Venus is just going to like put band-aids and comfort things that are there. You know, she's not necessarily a healing energy, even though she, um, you know, she's a benefic. But I think as it pertains to Chiron energies and other things that are going on, um, again, it can just be kind of a glossing over um, what's going on, especially since she's squared Jupiter. So that heightened whatever <laughs> was going on, right? So in your Chiron energy right now in Leo, depending on your degree placement, it's also squaring Jupiter and Uranus. And 18 months ago, um, the North Node in Taurus. All right, so this is why I'm saying like, this energy I'm channeling now isn't necessarily right now, like in the current, current present, but it's a culmination of what has happened over maybe even like the past two years. So I hope that makes sense. Like the needing to have strength, the temptations that could be from like two years ago. And now you're finally coming into this place where it's like, I'm moving on, I'm building more security for myself and I'm going to be celebrated. I'm going to be around the people and the situations that are more in alignment with me and that are more good for my um, emotional health. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So Leo, I really like this for you. I think um, it's kind of like, it's been a long time coming energy right here. And I, I can, again, definitely resonate with that as a Leo moon, especially a Leo moon in the fourth house, you know, the house of stability and feeling at home. Here we go, justice. So here are your oracle cards for the ending of the reading. This is from the Life Purpose Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. So justice, this is Lady Venus right here. The justice energy is Libra energy. And right now we have the south node transiting Libra. And Libra's Venus ruled. So you have some fairness coming in. Oracle cards, maybe some of you pull your own cards for yourselves to get messages. 
and talk to your angels. Yeah. So get acquainted with your spirit guides. You know, whatever um, that consists of for you. Bottom of the deck is flowers. Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. That's why I like to keep flowers on my um my altar here. <laughs> Fresh flowers really, really brings a good vibration to your space. All right. This is what I have for you, Leo. Um, let me know how it shapes up. Let me know where your Chiron placement is. Do you have any personal planets that are aspecting it? How you have basically experienced, um, you know, your Chiron energies over the past two years? Because I think this reading is really dipping a little bit back into the past. All right. So it's subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If this is your kind of thing, uh, like the video. Thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you in the next one. And be sure to thrive. Bye.